Hey guys, how's it going? Albert Barrichello here with the Dubois Dream Update, June 21st. Happy Father's Day. Happy second day of summer. Um, got my summery shirt on. Shout out to Swiss Dreams. They did a great job on this shirt whenever we went out to LA. So I figured it's only right to rock one of these shirts. I know it's a little bit late, but I uh, had a fun weekend. And hopefully you guys all had a great weekend as well uh, for Father's Day. Uh, this day obviously means a lot you know, to me, always thinking about my dad. And it kind of ties in with what we're doing with the foundation. So appreciate you tuning in. Amy, You know, glad you're tuning in here. Everybody else that's tuning in, anybody else who watches this afterwards, appreciate you guys tuning in to listen to some of the frequently asked questions for the Tournament of Champions. I'm uh, going to go through some training sessions. But first and foremost, I want to talk about something, especially since it falls on Father's Day. Dr. Albert Barrichello Foundation will be doing a virtual event this year. As you guys all know, we all try and do a bike race. Uh, but with the pandemic and all the safety protocols, the health protocols, it's going to be really tough. Uh, we always team up with the YMCA. It's going to be really difficult to kind of keep everything in line, um, you know, just keeping up with all the protocols, trying to keep everybody safe um, with everyone gathering at the end with the trophy presentation, things like that. So we're going to be doing a virtual event this year for the Dr. Albert Barrichello Foundation. So uh, I tagged all the links in here. Make sure you click. There's a virtual 5K I believe there's a 20-mile bike challenge. Uh, obviously, you can donate. All the money goes to scholarships uh, for people in our area trying to, you know, move on in the education, uh, medical field, uh, hopefully bring that back to our area and the community to help out. My dad was all about community, all about trying to serve the area, and uh, definitely thankful for him. So hopefully that talk kind of distracts you from my hair and my beard continuing to grow. Uh, I think at this point, I'm basically just letting it grow uh, just to see how many people comment for me to cut it. If it doesn't end in a mustache and a mullet, I think people are going to be disappointed, including myself. So we'll see what ends up happening. But for now, still going strong. Hair is going over the years. Got to push it back. So it may eventually happen. Wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the uh, tournament champions. Uh, getting a lot of frequently asked questions. Want to go through some of those. And hopefully... Uh, if you guys have seen the article, or if you haven't seen the article yet, I tagged it in this uh, description, so make sure you go check that out. Um, tournament of Champions, qualifying tournaments, you need to win a qualifying tournament to make the finals in August. So the qualifying tournaments, three-on-three -three qualifying tournaments, first one's going to be July 5th. Then we're going to have one July 12th, July 19th, July 26th. Uh, those are obviously subject to change based on weather and conflicts, but right now we're trying to play every Sunday, you know, Early afternoon, you know, maybe late morning, depending on how many signs we have. So right now on the frequently asked questions, the games will be played anywhere from possibly like 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., trying to keep it in that time frame. Obviously, we're going to try and have the kids playing the, as early as possible, try and get those done. And then we'll be having hopefully the, uh, you know, the later games will be some of the you know older groups. So we're going to try and make that happen. That's going to be Sundays in July. So if you've seen that, July 5th, 12th, 19th, 26th, you have to win a qualifying tournament to make the finals. Um, you don't have to play in every qualifying tournament. What it is here is I know some people are going on vacation in July. I know some people that have different things that they've committed to, maybe softball, maybe baseball, different things like that. We wanted just to provide an opportunity for people to play. Come in. Play some competitive basketball three on three. Some of my favorite memories come from summer three on threes. Uh, so I really think you guys are going to have some fun with it. Zane, appreciate you, uh, appreciate you watching in here. Didn't mean to get off side, side track, but appreciate you tuning in. We're going to get together. I know you had a 21st birthday. Also, happy birthday shout out to Connor Holobenko too. We're going to have to combine Zane and Connor's uh, birthdays because we missed them during quarantine. Anyways, back to the tournament of champions. So uh, July 5th, 12th, 19th. 26 qualifying tournaments. You don't have to attend every one, but you sh I think you should if you can because the more you play, you know, probably the more fun you'll have. But I didn't want to cancel out anybody who couldn't make every single Sunday in July. So you're not going to be canceled out of the Tournament of Champions if you if you can't make it one weekend. But we are strongly encouraging that you add a fourth player. Maybe you can't make it, but the rest of your team can. The more times you play in the qualifying tournament, the more chances you have to make the finals. And that's the goal is to win the Tournament of Champions and make it to the finals. Um, so then we're hopefully going to have four winners. However, if one team wins twice, you're going to get a buy in the Tournament of Champions finals. Have the other two teams play it out, and then you're already in the finals. So we're going to make this as fun as possible and uh, hopefully as flexible as possible because some people, like I said, can't make every single Tournament of Champions uh, qualifying tournament. So hopefully you guys can all make that. Again, we're strongly encouraging you have a sub. If you can't, that's okay too. If you feel like you can make every Sunday, that's great. We're going to love to see you have you, love to have you there. 
Um, games hopefully played 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're not going to be uh, competing with mass uh, and churches in the area. A lot of those are done by 11 a.m. Chances are we're going to start around the noon time. Uh, hopefully get some things set up, and then we're going to play until you know hopefully early evening at, at the latest for some of the adult. Uh, three on threes. We don't want everybody waiting around. We're going to try and split up the teams uh, and the divisions based on what it is. So now we're taking that into divisions. A lot of people have asked, you know, what's my division? At this point, school's over. Uh, people have all finished their grade up. So you're going to bump into the grade you're entering into in the fall. I know some people are a little nervous about maybe be the high school too, uh, you know, too broad. However, you know, some of these kids in ninth grade, they're going to be going up against varsity players anyways. And a lot of these people are rising up into it. So it's not like you're facing anybody who's played their senior year. If they have played senior year, they're bumped up to the, uh, into college, in the college division. So that'll be college and up. Um, if you're curious why we did uh, women all together as far as high school and up, uh, I'm trying to give more leeway for uh, numbers in the women's division. We really want to have the women's division come out and play. I know I've had multiple people reach out to me like, hey, can we get a women's league together? This is my way to try and tie that all in. So if you have someone who's older that still plays, um, you can add them to your high school team. I really think it's going to be a fun competitive division. Again, like I say, you don't have to show up to every qualifying tournament. We strongly encourage that because then you have more of a chance to make it to the finals. Plus, you get your money's worth. Um, and as far as the money goes, um, you know, we're charging $15 for a team. If you just want to sign up yourself, it's just $5. So like we had mentioned in our original post, you know, tournament champions, nominal fee. If you really think about it, you break it down. If you make it to the finals, that's $1 per tournament. And if you have four players on your team, that even breaks it down even less. I mean, I don't want to do the math right here off the top of my head. But you have the chance to play basically in a competitive three-on-three -three tournament here in Dubois for a dollar a tournament. That's basically what it breaks down to. And that we wanted to make it as cheap as possible, but also give us, also give us some room. You know, to, There's going to be some expenses with this three-on-three. -three. You know, We're not being supported uh, usually like we do with community days, which we're able to offer it for free because the city of Dubois helps us out with that one. This time, city of Dubois is just basically saying, hey, you can host these three-on-three. -three, so obviously to give us some leeway, obviously to help out. You know, It's going to be time-consuming. We want to put this on. We want to do it the right way. So we got to charge something. So at this point, it's going to be $15 per team. However, that's total. That's to get you in for the entire tournament. You can play in as many qualifying tournaments as you want. There's four already scheduled. You can play in all those. If you win one of those qualifying tournaments, you bump up into the uh, Tournament of Champions finals in your division. And that's where you want to get to is that Tournament of Champions finals. And then that's where we're going to be playing that in August, kind of the grand finale type thing. And then you get bragging rights, things like that. So hopefully you guys all want to be a part of it. Make sure you register. So we have the links all in here. Make sure you register. Be a part of the Tournament of Champions. This is going to be something fun for our area. We wanted to keep it a little more local. We're going to be having some teams come in from out of town too. I mean, I just think it's going to be a great time for people to work on their skills. Three on three, no one can hide in three on three. You're going to have to defend. You're going to have to be able to shoot a little bit. You're going to have to work together. Uh, you can really learn the basics. Three on three is happening for us right now because it's going to help us play more games with less people on the court. So right now, COVID, some of the biggest concerns with people are the more, the more you're exposed to more people, the more likely you are to possibly get the virus. So if we knock it down to three on three, that's already taking four people off the court that would usually be on there. Plus, three on three is a great way for you to hone in your, on your skills, especially with the youth coming in. I mean, these youth, they can learn a lot. You know, third through fifth grade, uh, one of the questions I did get asked is third through fifth grade, like who can play? We're going to take anybody who wants to bump up uh, if you feel comfortable and you're younger and you want to play in the third through fifth grade division, go for it. Again, it's the grade you're entering into. So if you're in second grade, you can still play. Anybody younger than that, we, we encourage that if you have played in the past and you feel comfortable, especially the parent, if you feel comfortable having your kid play, let's make that happen. I mean, I'm not going to really turn anyone away who knows how to play the game of basketball and wants to play, especially the young ones. You're going to be able to play in that third through fifth grade division. Again, you're probably going to be the one uh, playing early on. Like we said, I don't think the games games definitely probably aren't going to go before 11 a.m. Uh, and chances are they're going to start around that noon time. So make sure you sign up. Get yourself signed up. You know, we got third through fifth grade. That's boys and girls. They're combined. They're mixed together in that division because boys and girls in that in those grades, especially rising ones, they can play together. You know, they can learn their skills. You know, we're going to do a pass and we're going to come out with some more rules. You guys work together, hone in on those skills. Um, then we're going to have the middle school division. That's six through eighth. Yes, I know it's kind of a leap, kind of a jump up, but you can add some kids, some older kids to your team if you want to. You know, play, play it out the way you think you should. 
Um, then we have our high school boys division, and then we also have a open women's division. Uh, so the high school boys, obviously, grade you're rising into, eighth graders will bump up to ninth grade. Uh, that's the grade you're going into in the fall. And then 11th graders are considered seniors now because that's what they're heading into in the fall. The women's division, I think the older older women are going to be able to play with the high schoolers a little easier. I'm not sure how the uh, older men are going to play with the high schoolers. I mean, it works around here in pickup. I just know it may get a little intense, especially with some of the people I think are going to be coming in. So we want to break those up. So high school boys are able to play. Uh, with the, They're going to be playing in their own division, and then we'll have college and up playing in an open men's division. High schoolers, you are allowed to play up into the open men's division if you would like to. That's with any any division you want. You're allowed to bump up if you want to. If you feel comfortable, bump up. You're allowed to play in the younger division too. I know people are having two teams. We're going to try not to conflict, and we're going to try to have these teams and these divisions play They'll get done, then we'll bump up to the other division. We're going to try and space that out as best as we can so you guys know when you're playing, what you're doing, so you're not waiting around forever. We don't want you waiting around you know, five, six hours for a game. You're not going to have to do that. So we're going to try and set that up as best as possible. That's why we are highly encouraging that you register ahead of time. We need to make sure the numbers we're, we're looking at, what, what divisions we need to get done, when we need to send it out, but make sure you fill out the waiver, make sure that you register, make sure we get that emergency contact. We need to make sure everybody has a waiver and they are registered um, hopefully prior to, if not, we're going to have you sign something at the fence, at the gate. We're going to try and keep people, anybody spectating outside of the court, you're going to be outside watching the fence. There are not going to be many people through there, uh, through the fence uh, where we play in at the city park. Again, we're playing at the Dubois City Park. They bump those hoops up to 10 feet. All of them are great. And they now have the nets on them. I think this is going to be a great, great event. You're going to have a court monitor there, people watching over. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get the competitive competitiveness out there and uh, you guys have some fun with it but again wanted to keep it somewhat local our area has done a good job really um you know keeping the virus to a minimum in our area i know there have been a couple more viruses coming up however there's also been more testing going on so nothing to really be uh scared of we're going to try and take as many precautions as we can hopefully you sanitize yourself wipe the basketballs down little little things like that we can do to hopefully uh, lessen the spread and that's again why we're doing three on three and that's for all ages so make sure you guys continue to spread the word for us you know it's coming up july 5th i'm really excited about this sunday july 5th games aren't going to start before 11 a.m most likely they'll start around noon hopefully you guys can all play again you don't have to play in every qualifying tournament i highly recommend you play in as many qualifying tournaments as you can especially if you miss basketball this is a way to compete on a on a uh, basically a weekly basis all ages you guys will have some fun with it you know come in make sure your team's looking good you know make sure you're all working in unison and uh, we can get some games out of the way it's going to be double elimination like i said it's 15 per team however if you don't have a team yet make sure you sign up and we'll try and get you set up with the team we'll sign you so 15 dollars per team like i said if you make it to the finals that's one dollar per tournament 15 dollars total you're in the you're in the tournament you're done helping us cover expenses if you don't have a team five dollars Basically another, you know, one dollar per, per tournament. I, I don't know if we can do much better than that. We're just going to try and help out. Again, this is the help cover expenses, things like that. And then we're going to have some cool, you know, punch your ticket into the uh, tournament champions finals. Uh, so you're going to want to win, want to win a qualifying tournament. Again, those are July 5th, 12th, 19th, 26th tentatively scheduled based off weather conflicts things like that but that's what we're scheduled right now finals in august tentatively scheduled you know august 2nd so get ready for a fun time this is gonna be great um i'm really excited to see you know who participates in it you have conflicts let us know that's okay that's why we're strongly encouraging you add an extra player so again hopefully that answers as many questions as possible if you have any questions feel free to reach out you know put the email in the link that was info at doboysdream.com We'll be sure to answer as much as we can. However, we need to make sure what we're up against, so make sure you register. Make sure you spread the word around. This is going to be a fun tournament. We're going to have some fun prizes at the end for the winners, and uh, this is something you're not going to want to miss because I know I've missed competitive basketball, so why not have a three-on-three? Why not make it great? We've had some great success with our Community Days one, and I think this is only going to take it to another level. So hopefully you guys all have fun. Um, If you want to get some training sessions in before the Tournament of Champions, myself, Jake, do boys dream. We're getting out there. We're training some kids. People are getting better. Um, we'll, we'll work around your schedules as much as we can. We just want to see basketball continue to get better in this area. I know some high schools are going to start practicing kind of the voluntary conditioning type stuff going on now. Sundays, you can take some time out. You can play in some uh, three-on-three tournaments. You can have some fun with it in the qualifying tournament. See if you can get the bragging rights in the area. So, <laughs> Jen... 
appreciate you reaching out. I know you're you're planning on bringing some teams in. Beard's still going strong. It'll probably end up be trimmed be trimmed up, but we'll see how many people ask for it to be shaved in, in the end. Anyways, thank you guys all for tuning in. Feel free like share um, this. Like I said, qualifying tournaments, um, training sessions, and then please support my dad's foundation. Um, you know, near and dear to my heart, especially on Father's Day. So I appreciate everybody who has supported my dad's foundation, Do Boys Dream, everything all together. Um, you know, my dad's virtual event is happening this year, 10th anniversary. You know, definitely near and dear to my heart. People are so great with their support. So make sure you support the virtual event this year. I know we're having some, you know, they're having some prizes as far as the, you know, our foundation is putting out some prizes there. So make sure you support that. We'll have some more info coming out. Uh, but the links are in this uh, Facebook Live. So make sure you click those, support. And, um, you know, happy Father's Day to all you guys out there. Uh, fathers can't do it, can't do it without them. Everybody needs a strong man in their life. I know I had a great one, uh, as well as, you know, my entire family, definitely lucky and blessed to have my dad miss him every day. And I thank you guys all for always reaching out and for uh, lending a helping hand and supporting. So hopefully you guys can all do that again this year with my dad's foundation. Unfortunately, we had to move, move to the virtual event, but we know it's still going to be great, especially with everybody's support. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Hopefully I'll see you guys at the qualifying tournament. Any questions, reach out message, email, do what you got to do. Um, but I'm going to get the, get off of here now and, uh, hopefully you guys all like and share and spread the word. Um, always good, uh, talking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll leave you with as always dream big. <laughs>